Once the aircraft is ordered, a ground crew will begin travel to the refill location. Until they arrive, local personnel will assist the pilot to reload water. Remember, pilots cannot see directly in front of the plane. Do not park or stand directly in front of the planes. A good rule of thumb is to keep a 10-foot buffer from the wingtips. Secure any loose items for prop and rotor wash. Wear eye protection. Aircraft will reload hot or while running. It will be very loud. Use ear protection. Too much pressure will damage the aircraft. Use idle pressure from a truck or a gated valve from a hydrant. Get clear visual communication from the pilot for approach and refilling. The pilot will provide the adapter. Always take extra caution when working with aircraft. Mishaps can be deadly. When the airplane lands, for safety, we want everyone to stay behind this trailing edge of this wing. Your place to be is between the wing and the tail. Move toward the airplane until it is completely stopped. Always keep an eye on the pilot. When he motions for you to come in, then you could come up with this fitting on your hose. Then you'll just walk up here. This is a three inch cam lock. Snap it on that there. Once you have that on the airplane, what you want to do is you want to take your thumb and push this stainless steel over. And pull this lever up to here. That is open. That is closed. It doesn't go any further than that. Don't try to force it any further. It will break it. So open and closed. Too much pressure will damage the aircraft. Use idle pressure from a truck or a gated valve from a hydrant. Once you hook the fire hose to the airplane, this valve has to be open. Then go back and open the valve on the hydrant or the truck. You want to start slow. You don't want a lot of RPMs on the truck. You want to be pumping the water slow. You want to keep an eye on the pilot, and he's going to tell you that you can speed it up a little bit. He's gauging that off the flow coming into the hopper. These airplanes can't take all the pressure. So this is the overflow tube of the hopper, this thing right here. There's one on each side of the hopper. So if, you, if the airplane does get overloaded, water's going to run out this tube right here. If you're on the ground and you see water running out of this tube, it's the overflow. We try not to overflow them, so, if, so we'll try to cut it off before that happens. If it does overflow, don't panic. It's fine. Just get the water turned off at the engine or at the hydrant. Once the pilot waves you off and says, okay, I'm full, I don't need any more, and you want to shut that off at the hydrant or the gate valve first. Then you want to walk back over to the airplane. The next thing you would do, as long as there's no pressure on the line, you would shut this valve and unhook this cam lock and walk away. In case of an emergency, enter the plane through the cockpit door or windows. The seat belt unlatches and all straps release. There are two emergency shutoffs. First, locate the red fuel lever inside the door panel. Rotate the arrow around so the point is towards off. Next, turn off the battery power located on the control panel in front of the pilot. It is the only key. Rotate it counterclockwise to the off position. Let's review the refilling procedure. Clear the loading area and direct the plane in. Safely approach the plane and get the adapter. Attach the fitting to the plane and the water source. Carefully open the plane's valve. Notify the pilot you are ready to flow water. Slowly and controlled, begin to flow water. The pilot will signal when the plane is full. First, shut down the water source. Then, close the valve on the plane. There should be no pressure on the line when the valve is closed. Remove the adapter and your hose. Clear the area for them to taxi to the runway. Refer to your pilot for any questions. 
Also, if you see something, say something. Do not rush, stay aware. For more information on aviation safety and operations on wildland fires, visit i8t.gov.